Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss one very important past paper question on photoelectric effect from May June 2022, paper 4, variant 1. In this question, we will discuss some very important points about quantum physics and photoelectric effect. And those concepts are most frequently asked in past papers. And also those concepts are the core concepts in this chapter. Let's study together. Let's improve together. For question number 7, part a we need to state what is meant by a photon and this question is most frequently asked question in past papers so you need to understand how to state what is meant by a photon a photon is a simply a packet of energy of electromagnetic radiation or simply you can say quantum of energy of electromagnetic radiations so let me show you the answer how you can write down your answer this is how you can write down your answer if you have many quantum of energy you will get one mark and that is m mark means you have to say quantum of energy or you need to say packet of energy of electromagnetic radiation if you have mentioned about electromagnetic radiation you will get second mark and that is answer mark means a mark so you have to get m mark to get answer mark. this is simply how you can state what is meant by a photon for part b it is given to us electromagnetic radiation of a varying frequency f and constant intensity i is used to illuminate a metal surface at certain frequencies electrons are emitted from the surface of the metal the variation with f of the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electrons is shown in figure 7.1 for part b1 we need to state the name of this phenomenon and this is photoelectric effect so simply we can say this one is photoelectric effect if you write on photoelectric effect you will get one mark and this is b mark very straightforward question and this is typical graph between kinetic energy maximum and frequency and this is due to photoelectric effect for the second part we need to describe three conclusions that can be drawn from the graph in figure 7.1 the conclusions may be qualitative or quantitative now if you look at this figure the first thing you will notice is that the gradient of this line is constant so we can say gradient of line is constant so gradient of line is constant and gradient is equal to Planck's constant if you want to write down you can also say gradient of line is Planck's constant then the second thing you can find out from here is that if you look at this point below this frequency there is no emission of electrons but after that there is emission of electrons before that electrons are not emitted after this frequency electrons are emitted so we can say there is a minimum frequency required for emission of electrons so we can say minimum frequency required and the third point we can write down if you look at kinetic energy maximum of electrons and frequency you will see as frequency is increasing kinetic energy maximum is also increasing so we can say in this case e max increases linearly with frequency linearly with frequency so you can write down these three points so this is what we can conclude from this figure now let me show you how you can write down your answer so this is how you can write down your answer in your answer you can mention the first point there is frequency below which no electrons are emitted means there is a minimum frequency required then second you can say emax increases linearly with increasing frequency and gradient of the line is constant and that is equal to Planck's constant and this question has three marks so you will get one b mark here and the second b mark and you will get third b mark for part c it is given to us the experiment in b is repeated twice each time making one change state with a reason how the graph obtained would compare with figure 7.1 when a different metal is used but keeping the intensity of the radiation same now first of all let's try to write down the equation for this graph so simply 
we can write down in this case hf I mean this is the energy of the photon this will be equal to work function plus kinetic energy maximum so we can say k e max we can rearrange this one we can simply say k max this one will be equal to hf minus work function now if we compare this one with straight line equation simply we can write down y is equal to mx plus c in this case gradient of the graph is equal to Planck's constant and y intercept this one is equal to work function now if we change the metal means the metal is changed so we are using different metal and different metals they have different threshold frequency or they have different work function so this is the first thing we need to understand different metals they have different work function as value of work function will change it means the y intercept will change different metals they have different work function and work function is equal to h f naught so if the work function is different it means that threshold frequency also will be different if work function is lower it means threshold frequency will be lower and if work function is greater it means threshold frequency will be greater and if work function is different y intercept will be different so simply we can understand this one with the help of this graph so we can extend this axis so this is the threshold frequency for given metal now if we extend this line we can also find out value of work function so this is value of work function now let me show you this one for a metal that has lower work function so we can draw the line here so this metal has lower work function you can see these two lines they have the same gradient because gradient is equal to Planck's constant but the y-intercept is different because they have different value of work function and the threshold frequency is also different we can also draw another line for a metal that has higher work function so it also has higher threshold frequency so this is the threshold frequency this one is the threshold frequency so these two points we need to understand so let me show you how you can write down your answer this is how you can write down your answer in your answer you can mention gradient of the line unchanged because gradient is equal to Planck's constant but y intercept is different because work function for different metals is different then this is the explanation different intercept why because different metals they have different work function or you can say different threshold frequency so these two points you have to mention in your answer so this one is one mark for the explanation and this one is for the statement and this is also B mark. for the second part it is given to us when the same metal is used but with electromagnetic radiation of intensity to I in this case intensity simply means that number of photons have been increased so we can write down here intensity here simply means that number of photons have been doubled so we can say number of photons have been increased so intensity here simply means that number of photons have been increased so the number of photons reaching the metal they have been double now two times greater than before so intensity increase it simply means that number of photons have been increased as number of photons increase but it is given to you that same electromagnetic radiation they also have to mention here same electromagnetic radiation but with double intensity but they haven't mentioned this one same it simply means that electromagnetic radiation is the same so we can say in this case frequency of radiation does not change so the energy of single photon will not change because f is the same so energy of single photon is also the same so if energy of each photon is the same and metal is the same we can simply write down in this case e max means the kinetic energy maximum this is equal to hf minus work 
function metal is same so same metal means same work function we can write on here same metal it means same work function so there is no change in work function as electromagnetic radiation is the same it means frequency is also the same so we can say same em radiation with the same frequency so we can say same em radiation so it means same frequency if frequency is the same work function is the same it means there is no change so kinetic energy maximum also will be the same so it simply means that there is no change in this line if we increase the intensity simply means we increase number of photons reaching the surface per unit time there will be no change in this graph so these two points we have to mention so we can write down line unchanged because photons they have the same energy now let me show you how you can write down your answer in your final answer you have to mention these two points and this is how you can write down your answer if you have mentioned these two points in your answer you will get two marks the first mark is b mark if you have written photons have same energy and second mark is also b mark if you have written line unchanged you will get second b mark this line is unchanged because gradient is equal to Planck's constant and Planck's constant is constant and y intercept does not change because same metal same radiation same metal so work function is the same.